So this week's video is a sales call, which I took with one of my students, Charlie, um, a few months ago now. And yeah, Charlie was super skeptical to join. He threw every single objection at me throughout the call and used every single excuse to try and get off the call. And yeah, it was not the perfect call because Charlie doesn't ultimately join on the call. I don't get payment then of the call. But I really wanted to share this call because I led the call with value throughout the whole way. And at the very end of the call, I give him some very tangible advice he can walk away with and apply. Um, and I think Charlie saw that, that, you know, we wanted his best interest at heart and he ultimately came on and joined the program. But it's a really good call um, throughout the outset to show sort of how to do the discovery phase, how to handle objections and how to really make your prospect ultimately take action. Um, even if they don't join you on that initial first sales call, which a lot of the time like won't happen as much as we want sales to be perfect. and We want to get those closes on the call. It doesn't always happen. And it doesn't mean that prospect is gone forever because as long as you lead with the right intentions, they'll come back to you um, just like Charlie did literally a couple hours after we ended the call. So yeah, I wanted to share, give you guys a realistic sales call and yeah, hope you enjoy it. Hello, my man. What's up, Charlie? Not too doing? much yourself. Very well. Is my video on? I have one I don't... Oh, there we go. Lovely. There we go. He's you You're in the very fan. moment. Yes, mate. I am a West Ham supporter. There you go. <laughs> where you, where'd you live? Uh, I'm from, I did originally come from London, but I live in Sleaford, like Lincolnshire, if you know. Oh, nice. Whereabouts in London did you live? Uh, it was Bexley Heath, if you know that way. I don't, I don't know. No. Uh, like Dartford Way, that might help. Okay, all right. So that's yeah. like, yeah, I'm, I'm West, so. You're West, ooh. Yeah. Serious competition. <laughs> well, it's funny, I'm, not, I'm not a football fan like whatsoever. No, yeah, yeah. no, no, no that's not football, fun. but no, I, I'm like that way out the window. I can see Stamford Bridge. Oh, you joking? <laughs> it's funny. To be fair, I'm a like entry level borderline football fan. I'm like, I wear the shirt. Of course, that's, you're that, a fan. That's... <laughs> All right, man. Well, look, let's uh, yeah, let's jump into this. I obviously had a bit of a conversation on like Facebook. You're yes. running an agency, I think, at the moment. Yes, it's called Web Hatchery. It's just like a, it started out with web design and I kind of realized, well, I may as well just like throw SEO content and stuff I know I can do and still just throw it in there. Kind of keeping the price the same, but why not up the value? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So I guess like kind of leads me on to my first question is like, what obviously made you want to book this call today? Um, I mainly just wanted to see because I know regardless that my sales i mean i haven't had the experience regardless but i know my sales skills need improving so i need to at least like look at what options are out there and whatnot of what i can do to improve my sales okay cool cool and how long like how long have you been running the agency Just give me a bit of a background of, of yeah that. of course man so it's kind of like you know i, I won't like you have a lot of entrepreneur times you know so back in october i looked into like copywriting i did that for a bit and it was just like it wasn't for me and then around February time, I got really interested in web design, but I was still working at Matthews and it was like, eh, do it a bit here and there. And then I went like since April is when I was kind of started to go full time, split up with my girlfriend, that kind of threw me off a bit. And then since like about a month ago, I've been kind of actually full on with the agency. So it really, although I've kind of been doing it for a while, I feel like I haven't put in the time. You haven't like fully recently. committed to it. Yeah. Until now. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. For sure. And like, what's, um, so you said you were working at McDonald's before? Yes. Yeah. I worked at McDonald's about one and a half years. So I worked there for like towards the end of when I was at school. And then I worked there for about a year. And then I went like, working there was just not on. <laughs> I just could not be out of it. Anyway. I did a lot of hospitality work back yeah, in the day yeah, as well. Yeah. So I know yeah. it's not, it's not yeah, nice. Yeah. Mate, your, your Red Bull, handing out your Red Bull cans. Red Bull, worked in pubs, <laughs> what weddings. Yeah, Bro, yeah. I've done, done a lot of shit. <laughs> but you got it, you got it. No, exactly. Um, You've got to do these things, well. So are you working right now at all or is it just... No, like so it's agency? just this and then I'm a lot more fun. I, I was debating potentially like a part-time job because I do need to like, you know, learn to drive again because I had a whole thing with my driving test, my instructor not showing up, which was a for my oh, test, nice, which was good. Yeah, no. But I want to get back on that and I don't want to do boxing. So either like some at part time could be in the works, but I'm not too sure yet. For sure. Well, you've got all the time in the world now for the sound of it, which is good. Precisely. Yeah, exactly. And I guess like what was the motivation behind like wanting to set up the agency? I mean, I suppose for a while I've always wanted to like 
have my own business and do a do something that isn't paid by your hour if you know what I mean it's paid by your value rather than your hour because I just found that so stupid I'm sure you would have seen in hospitality work like for many months at Mackey's I was going full out working like the top I possibly could and then I look at someone moving and I like they're getting paid yeah, the same paid as the me same. man like yeah. what, what is this how yeah. how is this fair at all and it kind of just <laughs> had that realization like no nah, i really want to do something where what i do the work i put in is relevant to what i make but performance based right exactly that's yeah. that's the best way exactly to performance exactly based. exactly that and like you I'm, I'm assuming you've like finished school and everything right yes yeah 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 okay so like what's the goal like obviously that's kind of your motivation behind setting the agency up you wanted to do something performance based you obviously kind of want to do something on your own too or like set up your own thing with the sound of it Yes, yeah, yeah. I kind of had that uh, entertained the idea. I mean, it's not like I suppose I haven't had the experience of working for someone long enough to say I could never do that. Because obviously, I'm enjoying what I'm doing at the moment. I have quite a bit of fun doing the business, you know, contacting clients and kind of doing a bit of everything. But I suppose, obviously, working at Mackie, saying that as my one job, you know, working for someone, I can't say for sure. I couldn't do a job. Well, let's say a sales job. I could be completely happy with that. If it aligns with like exactly you know, what you actually yeah. want to do in the long term. Because exactly. the way like the way I look at it and like, bro, I've been in your position because, well, you know, I've I had the agency four years, two years, didn't make any money with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you can learn from someone else that's like where you want to be and you work in their business, that's the best way to, exactly. to want to get to. Exactly. Like, yeah. there's no point you working at Mackey's when you could be working a sales job, because that sales Precisely, job... Precisely, because it's building the skills. Exactly, like, man. You're going to learn nothing at McDonald's unless you want to no. run a restaurant. Exactly. And even so, well, like, well, there's better I don't ways sound to do stupid, it. obviously. My uh, agency currently, at least we focus cafes and restaurants, and I suppose part of that probably comes just because I learned a few of the back-end things. That, well, it's not the same. know the industry. Yeah, probably exactly, know the industry a bit, more. exactly. It yeah, so my, my first agency was, uh, well, I did like a bunch of clients, dental and whatnot, but then it was real yes. estate, because I did real estate at university. Yes, so it made yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Oh, so yeah. what's like, what's the goal? Like, what are you hoping to achieve with the agency? What's like, you know, so let's say six months, you give it your all, you're throwing yourself into it as best you can. What what are you hoping to achieve with it? I think I did actually. I don't know if I have it here. If I did it digitally, I actually wrote down the exact six month plan. I think it'll be somewhere in my notes, so I, I won't be able to get that right now. But it was something about like I'd like to reach by the end of the year. This was a goal for before, so maybe going more into like February next year. Now, I was saying about I mean with what you guys say, a ten k in ninety days, but I would be happy with two point five k a month profit by December or like the end of December. But I can understand that was kind of a goal I set a couple months back, and now that I'm actually focusing on it. And that's and you want to do that with the agency, um, if if possible. But I would obviously be open to doing, you know, getting the sales part time job sort of thing. Bro, I'd, if but, I were you, like, you're literally one of the ideal prospects we we kind of work with because obviously yeah, my background's yeah, agency. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. know, like, the setting up agency, it's not easy. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of guys try and it's like. It's like you're setting up a whole business with no business experience. No, exactly. Exactly yeah. what I did. And it's like, okay, yeah, well, that's yeah, why yeah. I failed for two years. <laughs> yeah. Whereas it's like, because I think I said you on Messenger, you took your first sales call this week or something? Uh, it was my third, but it was like the first one that is like actually money behind it in a way. No, it's the second one, actually, because I've just had another guy that I thought, I think I said this, you know, that guy I said that I think he's done. He's now come in saying like, I'm, I do apologize. We're having this whole thing going on you want like a monthly retainer for the time we've wasted i said no to the guy because i was like, I don't need your money it's okay but um so that one is actually come back but oh nice okay and how was like so just walk me through like your sales call you had the other day like how did that go yeah see this is the only thing is exactly as you say because i don't have the experience i kind of just like look at what i can find online throw some it together and it is kind of just like a casual call they've worked but obviously i'm not i haven't got like proper things set out on Let's say one call goes well, one goes bad. I have nothing to track because it's kind of I make it You're up, making up as you go along. Make, yeah. yeah, some of it's making up as I have I have everything laid out. The guy says something that I didn't prepare for, and then I'm like, okay, and now I'm just making it all off the top of my head. But this I is mean, it. It's like they went well, but yeah, probably because you came off as authentic, which is like key yeah, sales, yeah, right? yeah. But yeah, then yeah. you also want to think like, don't learn learning scripts is good, 
to learn mm-hmm. the basics, but you shouldn't really follow a script. It's framework. Yeah. Right? You yeah, need yeah, to, yeah, exactly. You need to, because if someone says something you don't know and you don't like you, it's not, you're not, yeah, 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 exactly. It throws you off. Like that's not going to work. Yeah. You need to have the frameworks in your head and be like, okay, I know how to handle this. Yeah. Yeah. What, what I, doing, what I like, normally do, I, I mean, this might be a bad idea, but I normally write kind of get a script, read it out. So I have an example, but then I have the notes in front of me of how I want the call to go. So like key lines that I'll follow. Yeah, but then I yeah, have so an experience. Frameworks, of how the frameworks is really yeah, how exactly. you should break them yeah, down, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. obviously like what we teach is the sales yeah, training. Yeah. But have you ever like do you ever practice sales calls at all, or do any? Yes, I went. Like, I do a lot of warming up. I don't really have, I don't do it, practice it with someone, and that is someone I would like to do. I mean, I have yeah. a few mates that I probably I, I have done in the past, like just asked if I could just mess around. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like it's a big part of what we teach is like you should just be practicing your sales daily. Yeah, because if you think about it, bro, like if you're running your sales calls and you're just like going in blind, you might have the sickest business in the world. Your your website design could be amazing, but if you're not able to sell, it don't matter. Just throwing money away, exactly. You're not you're not getting these clients. You're not going to convert them. Yeah. Um, and that's why I like what we teach is like we get guys to role play with each other pretty much every day. Yes. Yeah. So you're actually practicing the sales because it's like to go to the gym. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do Just know. like imagine if you went to the gym, right? But you, sorry, you wanted to get strong, but you didn't go to the gym. You just watched YouTube videos of Alex or Mosey lifting weights or like other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. You're not going to get any stronger yourself. You're not going to no. get any better. You need to, no, impact, I mean, you need to put in the reps. It's just the funniest thing because I have a an old mate of mine that was a couple of years younger. He's now just like set up like a couple dumbbells in his garage and he's just posting on his story with like him <laughs> going to the gym every day it's like bro you have no idea what you're doing I was like good on you for trying man but at least he's getting the reps in exactly because eventually yeah, give him a yeah, few yeah, weeks yeah. give him a few give him a few months yeah 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 yeah. yeah exactly okay sweet sweet Charlie. well like i mean yeah as i said bro like you're pretty much the perfect fit for the kind of guys we work with yeah yeah, yeah. um it's just like so you want to make 2.5k by december that's like super possible we can do that in the next 90 days yeah from picking up a remote sales job um and the way kind of i recommend guys to do it and really like my best advice to you you know whether you work with us or not is to learn sales and actually get good at sales yeah because it's kind of like the core fundamental at the end of the day yeah bro it's the core of all the business you're ever going to do you know your seo whatever else you want to go into yeah and if we can get you working with another agency that does web design that does seo yes does something along those lines then i'm kind of sell for them you can obviously learn sales but you're also learning for someone that's already got a successful business in in the the same industry you want to set your up exactly yeah so you're learning the sales you're learning the inside of the business then just take that work do this for 90 days you know half a year a year and then take all that knowledge and apply it into your own your own business definitely how many, if I was to like do it kind of 50, 50, where I still kind of kept up what I was doing with the agency, how many hours would you say you'd need to put in per week? What is like a. So like my goal with you, bro, is like, we want to be hitting at least 5k a month. I think with this. Right. I don't think you should settle for 2.5k. Yeah. You definitely do five, 5k a month. And I would say 5k a month. You could be doing that from kind of three to five hours a day. Pretty really? easy. Okay. Well, if you think about it, right. So. The game plan would be you'd start obviously for like you join the program you obviously mm-hmm. need to learn sales you want to get you good at sales first yeah yeah. or yeah. you go and reach out to an offer because otherwise you're just burning through it's no, like exactly. taking sales calls without yeah. knowing how to yeah, sell yeah, yeah. you're wasting exactly. your time go and learn sales for the month get really good at it run a load of role plays once you're confident you can run a sales call you know what you're doing start looking for a job land a job and you can be doing that's going to take you kind of three hours a day if you can dedicate three hours a yeah. day to that yeah yeah then once you've obviously landed a job you're just taking the sales calls, right? They're booked into your calendar. You leave your calendar open for a set amount of time every day. Obviously, you need to kind of speak to the business owner, see what they want, yeah, yeah how many yeah. hours uh, they want you to work. But if they're saying, yo, we can give you between three and five, cool, leave your calendar open five hours a day. Sometimes you might get three booked in, sometimes yeah, you might yeah, get five. Yeah, definitely. The rest of the day is yours. You can then go and work on your business um, the rest of the time. Okay. Fair enough. My mind's just going blank. <laughs> no. Um, well, I mean, that makes sense. I don't know why my mind's just gone blank for a second. I, I don't oh, it makes it makes the most <laughs> logical sense for like any yeah, agency yeah. owner. No, because it's yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah, just exactly. learn. This is the thing. Like, I see it all the time where 
guys, have you, do you ever join an agency program to learn how to build the agency? No, I, I, I've, um, how, how have I gone about it really? I won't lie. I'll be completely honest. It started, you know, Andrew Tate's The Real World. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I started in there. And that's how I did like the web design because I was kind of doing it as a freelancing, just a service. And then I kind of saw a lot of videos from people like Jordan Platten, um, Alex Hormozzi, obviously I learned a lot of stuff from him and then kind of just saw that I know agencies was kind of the thing people hopped on a couple of years ago. And that was especially like ad agencies on Facebook ads, I think. is. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously I feel like a lot of people do say to a degree that's become so saturated that people have got so much infrastructure out that it could be hard to succeed in those sort of areas now okay yeah sick i mean yeah it's it's like anything like exactly so everything's saturated like there's probably yeah, a lot of sales yeah, reps yeah. out there now as well looking for these jobs but yeah you know if you're good at what you do it cream rises matter. to the top right like exactly. you're gonna be yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. be the one that's gonna get the job as long as you can provide you know the value that you're actually good at what you do oh, solid um well, yeah, well, the only other thing is like, how much do you guys go over anything else? Is it strictly sales or do you kind of go over stuff like your offers and whatnot as well? So do you want me just to give you a rundown of if everything? If you can, man, yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, because obviously like, I don't want to pitch guys that I don't think, you know, work for. But for you, bro, like, again, I've said it, you're pretty much perfect fit for the kind of guys yeah, you work yeah, with. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it kind of consists of three main things. First off is the course, like pre-recorded course content. Mm-hmm. Kind of covers two main things. First, obviously, extensive sales training. So yeah. everything you need to know to actually get good at sales and run sales calls in the best way possible. So things like the frameworks you spoke about, you know, tonality, conviction, the energy you're bringing to the sales calls, along with um, like your objection handling is kind of the core of it as well. Yes. So, you know, the extensive sales training in there. And then the back end of the course really focuses on how and where to find these high ticket job opportunities, how to yeah. apply to them, how to like, and this might fall into what you said about offers. We teach you how to find the offers, but also vet them because there's no point you going and working for a crappy agency that's just set yeah. up. That's yeah, like at the yeah, same yeah. stage you was at that like, oh, we need a closer. No, you want to vet the offer and make sure it's actually good and one yeah, you can yeah, actually yeah. scale with and make decent money with. So yeah. things like lead flow, how, what's their monthly revenue, how many calls do they get a day, a month, what's their show up rate, all the stuff you need to figure out and know. So then you can be like, okay, cool. They're actually are legit. They're doing what they say they're doing and I can make money here. Yeah. That's the course, how to get good at sales, how to find these offers. Then you get a weekly coaching. You get two calls a week. So first call is on Mondays with John. Have you heard of John Gab? I have not. No, so John John Gab is a mindset and sales coach. He was one of my first coaches that I worked with. Um, He kind of scaled me up to 10K a month in a very quick period, period of time. And yeah, he's very big on mindset and he's very good at sales. So he comes in once a week, does a group call with the guys. And then on Tuesdays, you get a group call with me. And those calls are basically just any questions, anything you're unsure of, or if you're struggling throughout the week with anything, like jump on those calls, ask for help, and we want to help you as best we can. Nice. And then the last thing is the community. We've got a community on Discord, private community. And there's about 100 guys in there right now, all at different levels. Some guys making sort of, I think our top guys are making 20 to 30K a month. Some guys making 10, some guys making less, and some guys yeah, obviously yeah. just getting started. Of course. Um, but that community is great for you to obviously, one, find job opportunities because we post a bunch in there whenever we see good ones come our way. Two, network with the guys because, you know, you're in the same, same, same space. A lot of these guys are trying to start agencies and have pivoted to high ticket sales to, you know, make some cash and learn the skill. Yeah, yeah. And of course, like it's great to practice with the guys in there. Most of them are getting together most days and actually just like running role plays, practicing their sales, helping each other out, and yeah, really just leveling up together. Nice. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, at the end of the day, like I do need to have that practice, really. That's honestly the core of it. Like, yeah, I can teach you all the sales stuff you need, but if you don't go and apply it, you'll it doesn't matter. It's, it's yeah, so yeah. it's useless to you. No, it's, it's sadly something that it took me way too long to realize is uh, the difference between learning and action. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can waste it, so much time on YouTube right, and exactly. reading books and shit, but like, if you're not just going out and, and that's the way I teach it is like, here's what you need to know. Here's why. And here's to actually just like go and yeah, do it. That's exactly. What's gonna make yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. I think people spend so long trying to figure out stuff. I did it. Like, you know, I, I'm completely, I, I spent, ages watching all these fucking gurus excuse my language 
uh, but on YouTube, I will try and tell you all the optimal ways, looking at all the different time management. And at the end of the day, it's just sit down, do it. And you're going to be oh, it's just, 90%. it's just mental masturbation. Exactly. No, it's exactly. You think you're doing is. work, but you're not really, you're just, Precisely, you're man. just trying to yeah. feel productive, but you're actually just like wasting time. Exactly. So yeah, the other thing is the reason I mentioned the offer is because, I mean, I'm still in the process of working out myself, but with web design originally, it was kind of like you make it one time payment and sort off, but obviously you kind of want to turn as many clients as possible into a monthly retainer. So I was kind of just working out. I have kind of come up with like a, because I, I went through the, you know, the whole uh, 100 million offers thing. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> so I made a whole uh, offer with like the name and uh, bonuses, strategy and whatnot. So that's one thing I've looked into. But yeah, so I guess like we don't specifically teach you how to make your own offers. No, of course. But no, I, I think I work, and this is it, bro. It's like, it comes down to for you it's like one you need to stack your cash up and two you need to get the experience whether that be in sales yeah. and actually in the business by working in a business and like looking at businesses you're gonna learn what offers are selling and what's not exactly yeah and you would see a bunch of offers and you'll be like okay that is a shit offer it's not it doesn't surprise <laughs> that business doesn't make any money exactly or, okay that's a good offer i can see why that business makes money and then you can obviously take your offer then you can to- apply and when when i when i come back and potentially look at my offers now i'm like how on earth did I ever think that that was going to make a single pound? Like, yeah, I don't know. and it comes down to testing as well, right? Yeah, like yeah you yeah, can yeah. test a bunch and be like, okay, this is the offer for now. Okay, no one's even buying or showing it. Yeah, or even if you have a client, but like, okay, what would what what would you buy? Like, what's what are you interested in? And that's kind of what you want to do on the sales call is like, you want to figure out what the person wants, mm-hmm. and then sell them that. Don't sell. Yeah. You never sell the product. You sell the dream. dream exactly. Out sell the vacation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I think the biggest thing as well is believing that your product is valuable as well. I've heard like conviction is massive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Conviction's huge. Like if you don't have conviction in what you're selling, it's very, very obvious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. So it's a, man. it's a big part of it. But yeah, Charlie. So what what are your thoughts on uh, on Club Closer? And like, is it something you you could see yourself getting started with? I think it definitely is something I I would definitely look into. Yeah, I do like the idea of what you guys have. And what is the actual pricing for it? Yeah, so full price of Club Closer is 3,900 USD. Right. But we have payment plans to obviously split the cost and make things a bit more affordable for you guys. Got you. Just one second. Right. Uh, is there any like testimonials or like case studies you guys have that I can see at all? Or bro, we got mm. we got loads. We got loads. Have you not looked on the on my Facebook or the Instagram? No, I won't lie, I haven't because the I haven't, I haven't. Oh, well, bro, do you want to pull it up or do you want me to pull it up on my end? Uh, you can pull it up, man. I'll, I'll I'll look at some on your Facebook if that's all right. Yeah, let me uh let me show you the Instagram because that's kind of mostly where I post frequently but there's there's a bunch on facebook too right um one sec i'll share my screen with you Cheers, man. so got like a i don't know if you can see can you see yeah yeah i can see it all. so got like all these client wins these are just i mean there's loads of them yeah 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 obviously loads of different client wins here I wouldn't say, but I'll show you the most recent ones because I yes. think that'd be most valuable yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. So Matthias was one of my first students. I he think I've Club actually Club. had him message me. Actually, I think I had him. You might uh, have done. Yeah, he he yeah, worked yeah, for yeah. he worked for Club Closer for a time as well. Got you. Um, but yeah, so this was literally what end of last month. They had a record month and they had a record day with making a fifty k in a day. Yeah. So he doesn't even oh, take sales calls anymore. He's just a yeah. sales manager. Right. So he manages right. and builds sales teams for his boss, who's this uh, uh this Dutch guy, um, in the e-com space. Got you. What, made... are they, do they then? So he builds sales teams for companies, or so he got hired by Joshua Joshua Kratz, who's a, a e-com guru in got you. the Netherlands. Yes. And then he's grown in the company and he's now a sales manager, where he manages and builds that sales team for Joshua. For Joshua, got you. And got he's you. built that sales team to do you know fifty k oh, a day. Yeah. Oh well. Fair enough. Record day of fifty k yeah, a day, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, and he made seventeen k commission in July with that. 
Jesus. You got Sean. He he came from corporate sales, Australian guy, really really cool dude, and mm-hmm. he's been in club closer three months, and he pulled his first ten k month, um, last month. It's pretty good. I've actually got a video from Sean, um, that I will be sharing. I can't get it up right now. That I'll be sharing no, good, man. Yeah, on my yeah. Instagram tomorrow, I believe. Then you got Sam here, another sick guy that I've worked with for the past like six months or eight months actually. Yeah. Um. He does like 20k a month now. He just went and bought a BMW. No, as you can see, yeah, he's from no, Poland. Just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of sick. And he bought yeah. a Rolex last month too, which is pretty cool. And then this one's from one of my newest students, Kevin. Yeah. Who um has just been applying for sales jobs. But I'll let you. I'll play that. Mm-hmm. Can you hear this? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, let, I'll just no, watch, let you watch it. Got the job for one of the positions that you uh, recommended on onto like you know on the job board. Uh, from from Oliver and the the offer that he's running, or that he's helping run, pretty much. So uh, yeah, just got off the call with the owner, and it's all pretty much good to go. Uh, waiting to see when it goes live, it should be in the next week or so. But uh, yeah, the offer looks sick. Um, what he's offering, it's it's a very similar format to club closer as well. So that's a really good thing because I've done a lot of practice trying to sell club closer, you know, in mock calls. So yeah, like it's. It's nuts how quickly it all came together and how, despite my perceived lack of experience, like learning through from other people, like how to frame it in the right way, I was like, what the fuck? Like, it's nuts. And the fact that I'm on an offer, which I can tell is really, really fucking good. Um, Yes, that's Kevin. Nice. So what, he's one of your newer clients? Yeah, he's been in Club Closer about a month. Right, got you. I had no sales experience, learned sales, and now landed a really good job that nice. I connected him with. Yeah, solid. But bro, I can that... run through these. Fucking... Yeah, so how, sorry, how does the job board work exactly? So like... So we obviously teach you sales, right? And yes. we teach you how to find yeah, these jobs. Yeah, yeah. There are some companies like us that will be like, hey, we'll guarantee you a job. Now, right. how can you guarantee someone a job? Because that could be like, hey, Charlie, go and work with this company that you're not going to make much money with, that the yeah. leads aren't very good. And you don't even like working for them. You don't even like their offer. But yeah, hey, I've guaranteed yeah. your job. Go and work it. I don't believe in that. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather teach you everything and let you go and find your own jobs. Mm-hmm. But obviously, there's occasions where, and like I can just show you the Discord briefly. Yeah, yeah. Where, where obviously they find a job, which is a bit more. We see jobs like any of the guys. This is a good thing about having the network. Is like yeah, it's obviously know, they people. they know what jobs are good as well. And we can see jobs like guys are reaching out to me. Like yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. I've posted in here twice this month because they what, know one, got two, three, four, four job offers in the last four days have come straight right. from the network. Right, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we post in there quite frequently of just different jobs, right? But uh, yeah, so. We don't rec- well, obviously you can find a job that way, and a lot of guys do, but obviously yeah, we teach yeah, yeah. everything to find your own. Because I can't just, yeah, bro, I can't just place you in a company and expect you to kill it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, right? exactly. It, it comes down to the offer at the end of the day as well. Yeah, exactly. Do you have any other questions, bro? Um, I suppose uh, there's this one last thing I wrote down, anyways. Is like, do you have any guarantees or anything? Like, but it's yeah, not, like... yeah. So we do. Um, our guarantee is if you were to work with us for the full 90 days, so you get yeah. access to everything for, for yeah, kind of lifetime, yeah, yeah. but 90 days is kind of what we, what we want to aim for. Yeah, and if yeah. you don't at least make, you put in all the effort, you do all the action steps in the course. This isn't in a contract too, so you can see everything. Yeah. Um, if you don't at least make your initial investment back, so that 3,900 within those 90 yeah. days, I'll work with you one on one or I'll give you a full refund. Right. Okay. So we kind of like, you know, especially for someone like you, Charlie, you've got all the time right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you put in all the work and you don't get results, like there's nothing really to lose. As long no, as you yeah, say, like, you know, you're dedicated and you want to, you really want to throw yourself at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll make it happen. Fair enough, man. Right. Well, I very much appreciate your time, Marcus, man. Um, sure, I think I, I've obviously written down enough notes. I will take them back with me. Um, I've got a few calls to make in a minute. I can't like because I've got to follow up with Halid, but I will get back to you, man. And if there's any chance you can send us anything else on Facebook, you think? That'd well, be bro, great, the man. best thing to do is just like look at the fa- my Facebook and my yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take a look there. at that because I will. I but, haven't um, looked through that, but 
I guess the question I have for you is like, what exactly is it you need to think about? Um, I feel like I just need to kind of look for it at the time and just kind of let run through what exactly what I need. Cause I suppose I just got to look through how it fits into my goals and whatnot. Cause it definitely is like, there are a lot of things I do like about it, but for sure. Cause like the one thing like I've always like known, especially with sales is like decisions don't come from time. Right. They yeah. yeah, yeah information. Yeah. And like yeah, the more yeah, information yeah. I can give you on it or the more we can sit here and be like, okay, this is how we can make it work for you. That's going to be able to allow you to make a decision as opposed to just going away. And no, saying, I know. I know. And I know. Then, like, yeah. Yeah. I get you. So like, I guess like with that in mind, then like what kind of, what doesn't align with you with it, with your goals? Um, I suppose at the beginning, uh, I saw obviously that it would only be a grand uh, or 1300 and then obviously because of how you guys put the price, I did think it was a bit too good to be true um, that what you guys had would only be a grand, but I understand obviously your guarantee and whatnot, but I think I just, I don't know, part of me is like, I, wa I want to just see a little bit longer into my own uh, business, see how I go with that for maybe a couple more weeks just because it started actually like having some positivity to it like I've actually started having quite a few people reply and I kind of just want to I won't like maybe fall into that bad into the shit that I can really appreciate the benefits of something like this would bring but do you not think that's kind of counterproductive I know I know it is but I'm also maybe being a bit stupid but I guess the way to look at it bro yeah. it's like cool like you know, you, you've got all the time in the world right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can run your business. We work with guys that literally have nine to five jobs, are working in corporate sales and do it on the side. Sean's mm -hmm. a prime example of that. He went, he made that 10K whilst working a full-time job. So there's no reason why if you just dedicate three to five hours a day to this, you can have the same success. And if you think about it, the benefit of what, you're, what we're doing here is we're teaching you those sales skills that mm -hmm. you can you go and apply in your own business. Yeah. So the yeah. ROI isn't just going to be from landing a sales job. It's from the sales. No, the sales of course, man. In your I, own I, business I do too. understand the uh, benefits of it as well. But I, I think still, I'm afraid, man, I think it's something I am going to take back. But I'm not saying there's no chance of me working with you guys, but I think it is sadly something I'm going to have to take back and just. So is it, is it, is it the financial side that's like the biggest thing holding you back right now? I don't know if it's just that. I'm just trying to work out the best time frame. Because it's like I said, Charlie, like you are the perfect fit for what no, we do. No, I know, I know. And I know. you've got to understand, like, bro, the amount of sales calls I get on my guys, like yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sit on their hands. Because obviously, yeah, I know 3.9K, it's not the smallest investment. But all, all, all I ask is, like, if you're willing to put in the time and dedicate it, we can get you the results. Yeah, yeah so there's yeah. a contract in place that makes sure that's going to happen for you no i get you yeah it's and the also... worst thing i see is there's guys like you that i will speak to and then two <laughs> months down the line they're like oh, i wish i got started sooner or they'll see results from someone that joined after them and be like fuck that could be me yeah 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 well maybe maybe I'll, i will see that result and i will change my mind but I'm afraid I'm afraid not today, Marcus. I do apologize. Sure, bro. Like what's obviously like the worst case scenario here you think would happen? Worst case scenario. I mean, obviously, as you say, the worst case scenario is I sit at 90 days and then I get my money back. But there there isn't And exactly you've learned the skill of sales. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There is not a, a negative thing to it. And best case? best case best case is that I, I get exactly what i want if not forever that i want because of what you said my business is running nicely sales or if not i really enjoy the sales side of it that i have a successful sales job but of so course exactly i can be on the other side back. why not i suppose it is just my current position and like what i'm doing in like my personal life and whatnot in what sense? Um, so over the like next few weeks, I've got a lot less time than I have over the last few weeks. So I feel like committing to something at the moment, I know I'm not going to be able to put in the same amount of time because I've got a while away at family and then I'm going away in August. And I just kind of feel like I don't want to 
waste this time period now. I'd much prefer if I know it sounds stupid leaving it later, but if I can do this later in the year where I know I can focus all of my time on it more around like towards the end of September time and then I can go full in, I suppose is more sure. what I want to do. So like, you know, there's never going to be like a perfect time for this. No, of course not. No, there's no, never, no. there's perfect, never a perfect, perfect time. Perfect doesn't right? exist, man. No, of course if perfect not. did exist, then you can never be better and life would be boring. That's and, uh, exactly, exactly. And I guess like the way to look at it is, is like, you know, this first month when you join, like I want to, you know, manage your expectations here. You're not mm -hmm. going to go away and make like 10K in your first no, month. No, of course First not. month no, no. for you, especially like, you know, your bottleneck right now is your sales course. You need to get good at sales. And you have way more flexibility in that learning phase before you get hired to learn sales at your ledger, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. take time when you can to actually learn the skill first. Because that's the core of it. Like we need to get you good at sales. Yeah. And then obviously when it when the time frees up, then it's time to go and actually actually find one of these jobs Once and land, you don't need land to offer. dedicate as much time to your sales. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, go on, Marcus. Go on. Bro, I just think I just think you're scared to make an investment in yourself. Maybe, you might be right. But I see it all the time. Yeah, I see it yeah, all yeah, the time. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not a yeah. Obviously, yeah. You know, like it's new to you. It's something new. It's something you're gonna have to throw yourself at. But like, I guess I loop it back to like what you want to achieve. You're gonna have to invest in yourself down the line. Yeah, definitely. And if you know sales is something you need to get better at, bro, I can speak with absolute conviction that we're the people to make you make you get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've done it. I showed you a few a few testimonials. We've got loads mm -hmm. more that I can run through and show you of similar guys like you that have tried to set up agency. Sam, who just bought the BMW, he yeah. tried to start an agency. Okay, Marcus, can I come to an agreement with you here instead? Can we potentially book another call where we can go more into data and I can also prepare some more stuff of my own thing um and maybe you can run me through some more testimonials of people that are kind of in my position or yeah well I mean if, if all the think... testimonials are, are on are on the yeah website, yeah yeah, yeah on the um but... on the Facebook on the on the yeah, Instagram yeah, yeah. and like we've worked with loads of agency owners yeah yeah because I think I, I think you might be right, and I kind of just want to take a minute to look at. Maybe I am actually scared of making an investment in myself. Bro, that's a hundred percent it. Yeah. Like, look, you've obviously never invested in an online program before or anything. Nothing like that. that's like expensive. Yeah. Exactly, but like you look at people that invest like thirty thousand into university, and end up yeah. working like a. Well, that, like that a... they're the people I consider stupid. <laughs> well, that's me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no of course not in like the sense that well That's you did me. real estate i did property yeah property. I, just, I mean yeah, the business took off and i didn't have to i yeah, didn't have yeah, to yeah. go into into that exactly. but yeah look like i know so many people that invested you know 30k a year into a into a degree and they're working 20k 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 a year right yeah 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 if you were to invest 3.9k right mm -hmm. usd into this and you were to get to 10k a month would that be a worthwhile investment for you definitely what say. investment what investment out there can you say like if you put this money in you're either going to get it back and more or you don't lose it yeah 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 it's, it's literally a win-win situation because charlie i can see you on the fence right now i think you know this is a good decision for you yeah well you're not, you're not wrong but i don't know what it is i need to work it out because i know that this is something that as you say is is not a bad option at all and it's something i need to do sooner rather than later because what's your other option? You continue with the agency. You don't have a lot of success with it. You go and get a part-time job that doesn't align with what you know you want to do. Yeah. Or you do this and you get a job here where you do align with, do you do something that does align yeah. with the agency and scaling? I suppose I should just like, basically the thing that I want to do at the moment is obviously I want to start the driving lessons again, the boxing. Obviously that's a bit of money there. Um, sorry, Bro, sorry, like, look, think missing. about this logically though. Like, no, what no, no. What yeah, investment yeah, go on, are you going to get on driving lessons and boxing as opposed to doing something like this? Stall the driving lessons, stall the boxing. They're just distractions. And then gather some money up from working a job you know you have consistent income. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. the driving lessons. You can go and do the well, boxing. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, is I, I actually should be able to do them all at the same time. 
because the boxing isn't going to cost more than like 40 pound a month the driving lessons are the expensive one but i got to a test ready point so that shouldn't be that much i think because i want to do those is the reason why i'm like worried about investing in this but then I don't think they're going to be that much that I can't invest in this. But what's going to benefit you more, boxing and driving lessons or investing in a sales program that's you know got potential to, one, help well, you grow your business, and two? Yeah, monetarily, but obviously boxing and being able to drive is something that is, to me, quite important for what I want to do. But For sure. And you've got, you know, again, you've got all the time in the world to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Charlie, let's just get you started, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I need to have a, a book in another call, man. I don't think I can make the decision right now. So I'm I'm normally pretty hesitant to book in follow-up calls with guys because I know yeah, how they yeah, normally yeah. go. Yeah, Guys okay. jump off calls. They talk themselves out of it because yeah, as humans, yeah, yeah. we're naturally timid. We naturally yeah, don't like yeah, change. Yeah, yeah. We don't like taking risks. Yeah. So if you can give me a good reason as to why you're sat on the fence and why you're not ready to take the leap right now, <laughs> We can book in a follow-up call because I do think you'd be a good fit. And I know if you were mm-hmm. to work with us, you would find a lot of value. Not necessarily the stuff we teach, but that community too. You would yeah. learn a lot from the guys in there. You make yeah, friends yeah, of similar yeah. guys to you that have similar goals. And you'd be able to level up with them. Yeah, you're not wrong at all, man. I'm just, I'm just thinking it on the financial side as well, I suppose. Because, I mean, I'll just be honest with you. So at the moment, Obviously, I've got the money I've got at the moment is what was left over from when I finished working at Mackey's. And that is supposed to lead me up to December. And that I've got enough in there to cover my expenses till about then. So obviously, if I do this, it means that I'm obviously what? So if I did it now, that would be. Well, what is sorry, I'm just I have to check the exchange rate. It's about, be, about be 3k i believe yeah about 3k that is basically everything i've got which is which is why it is a big investment to me so there's one thing i'd be willing to do with you charlie mm-hmm. but it, i will want you to start now because i know you know right. if i make this offer to you it's, okay it's time limited right right i would be happy to spread that that payment across four months for you right so it's less and then if you obviously, if you don't get results within the first 90 days mm-hmm. and you've put in all the work, you can show me all the work you've done, you do all the action steps. Then from there, you obviously won't need to make that final payment whatsoever. And we'll just give you a refund for the, uh, for the initial three months. All right. Let me just do some off there. So that's that. work just gives you a little bit more flexibility yeah 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 no i get you man yeah i mean you're you're gonna call me stupid for this but like part of me is actually scared to get off of this call right now because exactly as you say i'm worried i'm gonna talk myself out of it for a bad reason so why don't we just get you started because i'm fucked up Again, bro, like this is the way, this is like the way I want to break it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. best case scenario, worst case scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you, bro. Because logically speaking, like there's no real like worst case scenario. The only worst case scenario, bro, is if you don't put in the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do yeah. you think you're not going to put in the work? Well, I don't see why I wouldn't. But it's just this, as I say, the period of time now. I know you said you come up with reasons not to do it. I just don't have as many days as I wish I could apply to it. Bro, you've so, got more than most people I speak to. Yeah, that's true. More than most people that get started. Sean, he just made 10K a month within his first three Yeah, months. yeah, yeah. I get he you, works man. a corporate job. I spoke to him yesterday. I yeah, didn't yeah. even know he was still working. I thought he quit his job. <laughs> he works a nine to five and works and around those hours. Is he the yeah. one that does with... Or am I thinking of a different one that does Jordan Platten or is that someone else? Is that not one of your guys? I might that might be in a different uh, uh I got a guy called Brandon who works for who worked for Jordan Platten. I don't know if he still works for him. Right, got you. No, that that might have been it. That might not have been it. I don't know. 
Yeah, you might have seen something. Jordan, um, Guy Brandon Bacon, I think his name was. He that might have been it. He, he, he closed was, for Jordan part time, like at the end of his. Yeah. Day or something like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think Bro, I you've that. got all the time in the world. You're just making excuses up for yourself now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. it's just i also came into this call saying because I, I didn't prepare in my opinion enough beforehand that no matter what i would say no just because i've been stupid before this call and didn't really give myself myself enough time to worthy like the investment in myself but from everything you've heard and from everything we've spoken about does it make sense to you it does make sense it does and i understand the offer I think, oh, I don't know, part of me does just want to, I know obviously even if I, as of today, obviously the four month thing is gone, but I think I do want to look through some more of the testimonials and whatnot. And I do need to get onto this because he needs me to call him. For sure, but look, I'm, you know, I've done my best to try and make. No, yeah, it's not your life. fault at all, man. It's not your fault at all. And you are right about the whole, but. So I think best step from here is like i'm not going to book a follow-up call with you yeah yeah that's like fine, the guys man. i want to work with are guys that are like taking action they're throwing themselves yeah, at yeah 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 guys that sit on the fence like normally you know they're not the ones that are going to convert into clients for us yeah actually, yeah we're going to be able I'll to get you so i will leave it with you i'll give you you know offer stands until the end of the day right have a think about it look at our yeah. testimonials look at what we do a bit more and then you know drop us a message on facebook if you want to get started I'll okay. be more than happy to jump on a call with you this evening. Cheers, and get Marcus, yourself and everything. Okay, thank you very much, man. But just don't do don't yourself a disservice yeah, by like yeah, just, yeah. you know, staying in the same position you're in right now. No, yeah, so think, exactly. You know, you've been working on the agency for the last four months or whatever, and you've yeah. been half assing it. Yeah. If you were so keen on it and you really wanted to get results with it, you'd have thrown yourself at it. Yeah. I want to make sure that if you work with us, you are throwing yourself at it. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good, man. I'll draw. Oh, oh, yeah. Cheers, man. Thank you very much for your time. All right, Charlie. Best of luck, bro. Hopefully, catch you later. Catch you later, bro.